for the executive director of United Nations Watch, a human rights campaigner, Hilal Newer, joins me now. Welcome back to the program. So wonderful to see you again. Look, I want to ask you about this United Nations special rapporteur, Francesca Albanese. She was just in Australia doing a big publicity tour where she seemed to mostly speak out against Israel Hillel. What are her conflicts of interest in this role? Look, uh, Francesca Albanese is someone who pretends to be neutral. Uh, neither her position nor her own background have anything to do with impartiality. Her position is called Special Rapporteur on Palestinian Human Rights. In fact, her mandate from 1993 is to investigate only, quote, Israel's violations. So her mandate is only to investigate Israel. And the reason they picked her is because she is extremely biased. This is someone who, in 2014, wrote on Facebook that, quote, America is subjugated by the Jewish lobby. This is someone who, a year ago, in November 2022, spoke to a Hamas conference of terrorists, and she said, quote, you have a right to resist. This is someone who has regularly compared the situation of Palestinians to the Nazi Holocaust. So she is the last thing that has anything to do with impartiality, neutrality, objectivity, and she should be exposed. What do you think about the, the role that the United Nations has played in this war? I mean, the United Nations that, you know, once gave Israel its very existence, how has it been in this war? Well, the UN should be neutral. It should also have moral judgment. And what we're seeing is an abandonment both of neutrality and of moral judgment. The United Nations should be condemning Hamas for their atrocities, the massacre of October 7th. Instead, what we're seeing is, I would say, the vast majority of UN statements are pointing the finger at Israel. They're failing to make the distinctions that international law makes. There is a fundamental difference, I would say, the difference of civilization between terrorists like Hamas, who seek to massacre civilians, and a democracy, Israel, which is defending itself from the terrorist group and is seeking to do everything to avoid targeting civilians, to hit the terrorist infrastructure. Sadly, Hamas cynically uses human shields. Hamas puts their civilians at risk by embedding their terrorist infrastructure, and we've seen it in the videos that have come out in the past few days, mm. beneath Shifa Hospital, beneath mosques, beneath schools. The videos are there. We're seeing the tunnel shafts, we're seeing the weapons, we're seeing the rocket factories. And you know what, Shari? Everyone knew it. No, absolutely. We've known for years that they've used um, civilians as human shields. You know, it, it, it's Hamas that are putting Palestinian lives most at risk, not Israel. Look, just very quickly, what do you think of the fact that almost from day one after the terror attacks, there were calls, including from figures in the UN, for restraint and a ceasefire? Look, there was a ceasefire for about two years until Hamas broke the ceasefire, invaded Israel, and massacred men, women, children, and babies in the most brutal way. So when a country that seeks to defend itself to stop Hamas from doing what they say, they their leaders have said they're going to do it again and again and again. They've been very clear. Their intentions are genocidal. And the United Nations is failing to recognize that. Instead, they're pointing the figure, finger at Israel. Mm. They're pretending that Israel is targeting civilians. It's a lie. Yeah. Hillel Neuer, your work in exposing all of this is incredible. I'm so grateful that you've joined me on air tonight. Thank you very much.